In America, we don't often ask a personal boundary question of whose life is it. When we hear someone who is one of our family or friends or network of people starting to taint someone's ideology, taint someone's dreaming, taint someone's business ideas, or taint someone's moral high ground, we have to really step back and say, whose life is it? We have to question, are we talking about your life? Or are we talking about someone else's life? Because anybody can gossip about anybody's life. But the bottom line is that the full fledge of decision goes to the individual's life, whose life it is. You see, a person who is following the Constitution of America knows that we allow the concept of it's okay to deed disagree or agree to disagree. But at the same time, the Constitution and all the amendments protect our individual lives with freedom liberty and the opportunity or for the pursuit of happiness the pursuit of my happiness is not going to be the same as the pursuit of your happiness and i'm talking a lot about these things because we're still talking about the election and the fairness of the process i'm like this is old school stuff why are we even talking about this who is trying to ruin this i don't get this but then i'm kind of a libertarian in a way and that i believe that we have liberties in america but I also believe that we have freedom responsibilities in America. And freedom responsibility says, I know where my lifeline is and the direction that I'm wanting to flow it through. You know where your lifeline is and you have to decide which direction you're going to go. You see, I have chosen my path and my path is paganism. It is a love of God, a love and care for the environment, a welcoming of diversity of people who have good, well, I should say aspects of diversity and are living in life balance. There are other principles beyond that from the pagan federation, but it is not my job to convert you. I'm not trying to evangelize you, and I'm not trying to turn you back into anything that I'm not. My version of paganism faith is mine. Someone else in England or Ireland or anywhere else who has Celtic backgrounds might also have a different version of how they practice. They might do ruins. They might do oracle cards, they might do tarot cards, or what's called old-fashioned taroki. They were actually played by the kings and queens of many nations, including Italy. You see, those cards, we have kind of mysterious origins, but the whole concept of those card decks is really about the spectrum of human life, the opportunities we face, and the concept of mortality rates at that time. In life, we know that we have good readers at psychic fairs, and bad readers out there. And they are the bullshit artists that want the skill sets. They may have a little bit, but they're trying to practice more of a mentalist capability as opposed to true tapping the source of God energy. We don't have to make fun of anything, but I do enjoy druidry. I just don't have the time to do it. I do appreciate uh, witches and Wiccans, but I don't necessarily presume to know it. I know what I know from the metaphysical classes or the spirituality classes, or the paralinguistic-oriented kind of classes that I took from some marvelous teachers at a particular shop outside uh, this, the main hub of Indianapolis. And I went to two different uh, shops by the same family because it was marvelous. And I followed my teacher to her different shop because she's a great teacher, entertaining, wise, funny. And it was worth the investment for me and the money. You know, when we go to church, we often talk about tithing. But sometimes I think we have to be reminded that we're getting a lesson. And if the lesson isn't providing us a conclusion or takeaway tenets or takeaway, um, uh, what do you call it, conversion points, take takeaway transactions, then I'm not sure it's the right church for you. But openly, you might go to a synagogue and have the same experience. I guess what I'm saying to you to wrap up this marvelous little rendition of mine is that you have to figure out your version of God and mine might be different than thine, but it doesn't matter as long as we're focused in the direction of God.